Do you want to watch Heat Wave before anyone else? Well, there's an easy way to do that. Just back us up on Patreon at patreon.com slash half empty e tank and be the first to watch the episodes. Hey, welcome back. So we're going to talk about our most anticipated movies for 2020. <laughs> and uh, you know what? Sonic. Of course. <laughs> Let's get right into it. Sonic the Hedgehog. Sonic. E- excellent choice. I thought, so beforehand, you were just saying this was the year of Vin Diesel. How is Vin Diesel a part of Sonic the Hedgehog? Well, he's not. I mean, he might be. We don't know. Oh yet. my fucking god! Wouldn't that what be if amazing? he is? What if? <laughs> what if what this is the Fast and Furious yeah. and Sonic crossover? Yeah. He yeah. might be because it's by the same people who made Fast and the Furious. Yeah. Oh so, shit! I forgot about that. There is relation. Yeah. The it was Jeremy there. Lin. Yeah, yeah, I don't yeah, know their names. It's Jeremy's face. Uh, whatever. Jeremy Fastman. Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> Jeremy Fast Car Star Trek. Fast Man. Car Trek. Maybe okay. he's just developing a reputation as a person who directs movies about fast things. I mean, ha- did you watch Star Trek Three Beyond? No, but I. It's actually really good. I've... It's okay. really good from a Fast and Furious <laughs> level. Of good. Okay. I mean, it's the prototype just... of them take of Fast and the Furious Ten where they go to space. I yes. just take like Fast and Furious for everything now. Like I look at it in the Fast and Furious lens and mm. think, this is good. <laughs> I watched Bad Boys last night, and oh, I don't yeah? think I'd ever seen Bad Boys. Um, oh, yeah. You've never seen one or two? No. <clears throat> okay. I haven't either. Need to watch I'm working two. up to... you got to watch two. It's two. Michael Bay at his mm, finest. It's really yeah. good, yeah. Well, it's it's it, it was interesting to me because, it, like, you can see Michael Bay, like, figuring out a mm-hmm. lot of his shit. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And the original Bad Boys is really delightful. Yeah. Like, it's, it's a phenomenally well-written... It's a buddy cop meets like mm-hmm. odd couple meets uh mistaken identity and yeah. like that mix is really cool and um, it's also at the peak of will smith stardom yeah. too he's so handsome he's so yeah. handsome i would say the peak is men in black i don't know uh what about after earth <laughs> don't ever bring that up ever again <laughs> <laughs> I watched like Come 10 on. minutes of that movie and I was like, well, I'm done with this. I That's turned the it off. worst post-apocalyptic <laughs> movie ever. You know, Post-apologetic <laughs> movie. I mean, probably they Jane should. Smith's uh, peak. Yeah. God, maybe. I don't know. No, Karate Kid was no, his dressing peak. Oh, he was in that. Okay. <laughs> dressing Sorry. as white Batman to go to a wedding was his peak <laughs> to me. Oh, That's boy. fair. That's, That's fair. right. <laughs> he did do that. What the fuck, man? <laughs> Look, when you've got "fuck you," Will Smith is my dad money. Yeah. Like, <laughs> you do I feel you like feel. those kids have a hard time being normal because their dad is Will Smith. I yeah. feel like that would be a really hard shadow to live under. Oh, under yeah. So, what do you, what happens? Like, do you become an accountant? <laughs> yeah. Do you become like such a fucking mayonnaise person that I, you're like? I like how Will Smith is still like super approachable to like an everyday kind of person, but his children are absolutely yeah, his not. children are fucking like <coughs> just bonkers. Well, but well, well now Will Smith is, is a YouTuber, so he has yeah, to be yeah, yeah. He's yeah. a YouTuber now. Yeah, yes. he's got a huge YouTube channel. I'm not surprised. He, it's actually really great too. I is can't he like imagine. a vlogger or what? Yep. <coughs> he's just no. <laughs> but both he and Jack Black they make a uh, vlog. Jack Black has They're... a pretty decent uh, vlogging channel yep. too. Hmm, okay. Just, I wonder what Will Smith sounds like saying smash that like and subscribe. <laughs> uh, he doesn't. It's just visuals. He probably doesn't have to. Yeah, yeah he knows it. Everyone knows that they it. should. He just stands up and pulls his pants down. <laughs> and then everyone's like, oh, okay, yeah. Mm. <laughs> That's what it feels like. Uh, anyway, back to the movies. Movies. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Best and the Furious 9. I'm forward to this year. Um, so I'm looking forward to this movie and I'm going to regret probably looking forward to it because Disney likes to shit in my face every single fucking time. But I am attentively looking forward to the Mulan movie because yes. I think they've changed it. My problem with the remakes is that they didn't change them enough. So it's like you're definitely comparing it to the cartoon and the cartoon is always better because they can just animate so much better. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, <clears throat> and I feel like if you're going to do a remake, you need to do it drastically different from the cartoon. That way I don't compare it anymore. It's just a whole new thing. And I'm hoping like at first I was bad when I found out they were taking the songs out and all the, all the other stuff. But over the years watching their remakes, I'm kind of like, okay, if we're going in a completely different direction, this might be actually good. Yeah, after last year's five remakes that <sighs> yeah. they came out with in one fucking year, <clears throat> yeah, so. I'm okay with them like 
going to home trying room. again and doing but it my, in a my, better way. My backup in case uh, Mulan doesn't come out uh, is the new Wonder Woman movie. Yeah, oh, that it looks, looks like awesome. it's going to be really cool. So yeah, I'm really excited about that one. When the trailer was Blue Monday, but mm-hmm. it yeah. like going in tandem with the beat of all of the action. Yeah, the trailer, that trailer really got me. It's so fucking good. It was good, a good right? trailer. It's a really mm-hmm. well tra- made trailer. It's a good trailer. Yeah. Okay. I haven't watched it, so I, okay. I can't comment on that. I, I'm not normally a superhero movie type person. Mm-hmm. Like, I'll go with Brian to the theater, and I'll watch, like, the newest superhero movie, and I'll be like, that was enjoyable, but I'll never want to watch it again. And I'm generally not, like, looking forward. To, I'm not, like, oh, amped, but Wonder Woman seems really awesome, so. How do you feel about the posters for that movie? They're very They're flashy. Really, I haven't seen They're the They're posters. Cool. I don't think I've seen the posters. They're super 80s, of course. Yeah. Okay. I'll have to look it up. I haven't seen it. For me, uh, uh, the thing I'm looking forward to is that the two villains that they are amping up in there are going to be so fucking 80s. They have the uh, Cheetah Woman, and I forget who's playing her. What's Kristen her name? Wig. Kristen Wig is oh. playing the Cheetah. Okay. And then they have I think Thundercats. I yeah. am not. I am not really familiar with Wonder Woman or DC to be f- lore. To g- so. uh, be honest. That's the that's the that's best, the best, to be. best yeah, way the best to approach way to be. it. Yeah, 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 because like the way that they're approaching it is nothing like the comics, and that's mm. that's well, good. Think of like Wonder Woman fighting Chatara. Is that how you say her it name? Sounds hot. Chatara. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Think. See, so Wonder like Woman's going to be fighting an '80s fur- furry. Like a blonde woman with cheetah skin. <laughs> <laughs> I, just, I just think it'd be cool to see Kristen Wiig as a Don't villain. Don't say furry though, yeah. because that just immediately Jairus is like, no. <laughs> mm. Well, I don't know if like we you would consider a uh, person with animal themed superpowers to be a furry. Well, see, or is, they, is, that, up like... is that like a lifestyle? <laughs> yes. I, you That's know? another topic for another day. <laughs> uh, you're, you're not wrong. <laughs> On the next episode. <laughs> <laughs> um, so before we started, I realized that 2020 is going to be the year of Vin Diesel because we've got Fast and the Furious 9 coming out. Mm-hmm. And uh, <laughs> the one that I'm really excited about, because it's probably going to be a shit show, Vin Diesel is going to be in a superhero movie called Bloodshot. Okay, yeah. Which is this. which is based on, like... I'm actually really excited for this movie. Bottom sh- uh, uh, IP from Valiant Comics, which uh-huh. is, like, bottom, bottom <laughs> shelf... It's not even like, DC. It's not even Marvel. It's not yeah. even Image. Yeah. It's uh, like. I've never heard it, of this before. Like, oh, I have yeah. to look up a trailer. It looks really cool. But it also <clears throat> might be a total shit show. Yeah. And just like. Um, Vin Diesel can use blood to make weapons <laughs> out of blood. <laughs> what? He, oh, he becomes so like training. a nano cyborg. Yeah, yeah or kind something. of. <laughs> okay, I'm in. But <laughs> Vin Diesel Vin just Diesel. being. Yeah, just like, because it's Vin Diesel, I'm like, okay, I'm in. Um, but yeah, it, it looks. Uh, it I feel looks like, like all it's of the really great. all of the weird movies where where they're like, let's just take a chance on this weird concept. If they put Vin yeah. Diesel in it, I think it would be oh, like yeah. successful every time. Well, I actually <laughs> really still love the Chronicles of Riddick movies yeah, and Pitch great. Black and the game. Both games Wait, was were he amazing. In, was he in Riddick? He is Rick. Wait, no, sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> you said Chronicles of Rick, and I thought Chronicles of Narnia. Yeah. <laughs> that, now that would be he's, a good crossover. He's the lion. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Tumbus is fuck? just walking around, and Riddick just, it, like, like, gats him. It pans up, and it's, like, just Vin Diesel, like, wearing a scarf, and, like, no top on. He's, like, half man, half goat. <laughs> and he's, like... Welcome to my house. You want a Corona? <laughs> <laughs> when you hear your family. <laughs> <laughs> when you hear your family. I live my oh life God, a quarter like wardrobe that. at a time. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. Okay, well, with that, uh, the movie I'm looking forward to the most. Uh, Sonic. No. <coughs> King Kong versus Godzilla. I am a big fan of that Marvel, uh, not Marvel, that monster franchise. Yeah, yeah. I liked, uh, I liked uh, both of the Godzilla movies. Do you think they're gonna actually do it justice? So, a, have you seen the old King Kong versus Godzilla yeah. anytime recently? <laughs> it, it it doesn't do itself justice. Yeah, I mean it's it's a <laughs> cheesy, weird kaiju guys in rubber suits punching each other. The only reason why I have faith in it is A, I did like King Kong Skull Island. Mm. I did like the other two Godzilla movies. And the director of the upcoming movie said yes, there will be an absolute winner. 
this uh and that was for me is like king kong and godzilla it's they both me just... because i took all your money <laughs> i was very concerned that well, there wouldn't be a clear winner well no that's the problem i have with these monster movies is there's always like oh they get a couple jabs in and then they're like oh you hurt me and then oh. it's my like, issue with the monster they walk movies away from is each that other. they focus too much on like the human relationships yeah in i just want to watch monsters yeah fight. i just want to watch well monsters it's the fight. same person who did king of all monsters which was very much i never saw that either it's so good they don't give a fuck the people don't matter there's just monsters fighting constantly it's so well, is that the most recent one it's the most who recent would win one in a fight king of fighters or king of monsters probably king of monsters um yeah they're bigger yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, you know terry's really strong but i'm not sure if he's going to be able he turns to turns his hat around yeah and yeah upper then a monster right just there. eats him <laughs> he did you know what terry's got one thing he's in smash where's godzilla godzilla's on smash that would be funny if they put godzilla in and it's just like 80 percent of the level i mean they made ridley fit so yeah, yeah yeah but yeah no i'm i am cautiously optimistic <clears throat> for that movie yeah uh, cool. i'm really excited i love the monster movies and i hope i hope it's good I didn't know that was coming out until I looked at the list last <laughs> night. And I, was Did like, I? I was like, oh. And I was like, but they just came out with the Godzilla I'm last actually, year. You know, <laughs> honestly, I would not be surprised if it gets delayed to 2021. I kind of feel the same way with Fast and Furious 9. Because they don't even have a trailer for that out yet. Right? No, they just had Vin Diesel and Michelle Rodriguez not looking at the camera. Oh. Talking mm. to each other with their backs to the that's camera. That's really great audio. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, I'm that's, that's how they did it. <laughs> that's how they did it. And like Vin Diesel's like, I hear, I just saw the, the Fast Nine trailer. Oh, well, here's the trailer to our video game. Anyways, here's the movie, of the game, video game of the year. What we learned is Michelle, <laughs> Michelle Rodriguez doesn't have the. Wait, ends. they're making a Fast and the Furious video game. They are. Oh, good. And it looks <laughs> terrible. Oh, good, good, good. Like it, it was the final reveal at the game, video game awards. It looks like a PS2 game. Yeah. Let's do yes, it. that's what let's I'm into. Let's do it. PS2 it's just and crazy 64. taxi. Yeah. yeah. But with looser <laughs> controls. But with VCRs. <laughs> uh, do, you, do you have another one? Uh, I'm, sure, I'm sure I do, but you it's can. only available oh, okay. on Laserdisc. <laughs> uh, so I will throw out real quick Black Widow because I I just love Marvel. So give me yeah. more Marvel, right? Yeah, now. yeah. I'm um, fucking tired of it. Yeah, well, <clears throat> give me more. Just I, exhausted. I love it. <laughs> I'm, I'm exhausted with it. <laughs> so uh, Captain Marvel, I'm looking forward to. Uh, not Captain Marvel. Uh, Black Widow, I'm looking forward to. Uh, <laughs> but Jeez. like casually. I like all the Marvel movies, but I'm probably going to honestly wait until it comes out on Disney Plus. Sure. Yeah. That's fair. Um, I, 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 um, I've become more of a, like a in theater movie snob now with the whole, mm, well, well mm. dude, seeing shit in like well, the, the Dolby AMC cinema Club stuff. Whatever, yeah. Right? So yeah. why not? Yeah. yeah. You gotta use it. But like Dolby cinema is like a ridiculous, like experience, like the freaking like chairs rumble with the sub bass and like having a full, like a, like a proper, like Dolby Atmos, like, you know. Um, so like say for example I saw Bad Boys there right Okay. so there's the one scene there's a sniper scene right mm -hmm. that shit like fucking went Whomp! and then you can like t tell exactly where that bullet was going that's like, pretty cool it's got like the 3D directional which, like, which theater is this it's uh, South Point okay. yeah, I yeah mean, I, it was fun watching John Wick 3 there with you I, I mean yeah, that was that was at IMAX, but uh, <laughs> still, yeah, I highly recommend anyone check out Dolby Cinema. Anyway, my Dolby Cinema pitch is over. Um, <laughs> so I got I got a couple. Of I was gonna say I'm looking forward. I think to. the problem with this upcoming year is that movies that I can see right now on the list. There's a lot of remakes already, and a lot which of just just vague. And, and like weird sequels. So like. Um, uh, Top Gun. Is I oh, will go and see yeah. that. So I'm excited again. for that because he learned how to fly a jet for this one. Uh, <laughs> oh, did, yeah, well, yeah, it's actually he is him actually flying, flying the jets. Jet. They have cameras and real jets. That is, is oh shit. That's one of Tom Cruise's <laughs> things. Like he learned to fly a helicopter, helicopter for yeah. uh, Dune. Mission Impossible is one. That they're, Dune? Yeah, they're remaking. They're Dune. remaking Dune. Um, I'm really excited Grudge. for the new James Bond movie yeah, too. Yeah, another James Bond. Oh, movie. that's uh, is that the one written by Phoebe Waller Bridge? Yes. Oh, she's fucking. Good. I'm really she's excited for that movie because of that. Um, I'm really excited to see what she does with that. Yeah. Um, or also, what she what she tries to do with that, and then there's a seed of still that movie, <clears throat> but the the studio just like 
Well, no, they actually been like pretty behind her. It was supposed the last movie was supposed to be the last Daniel Craig movie, but they can't find the right person, so they're like, "Here, here's a hundred million dollars. Please bond one more time." Idris Elba, (laughs) please, that would be amazing. Oh my god! Mm. And then the other two that I see that are remakes are um, Grudge. Okay, not the Grudge, just Grudge, and Coming to America. Well, well, Grudge is already out, I think, right? Or was that the Grudge? Coming to America. Yeah, with like Eddie Murphy. Oh, and- oh yeah, they're remaking that and the Golden Child. Yeah. Weird. I want to. I want to keep talking yeah. about this. So I'm going to say five more minutes. Five more minutes. I do also want to say <laughs> that I am like, what's happening? Jungle Cruise, which is a movie based on like a Disney theme park, <laughs> which I feel like those never do the, come uh, out. The Pirates, the Pirates of the Caribbean. Well, okay, good. just kidding. But mm. I do remember the Jungle Cruise being one of my favorite um, rides Rich that I stuck. rode when I was at Disney World. I rode like five things because my family was assholes when I was a kid. And also and, because lines are four years long. Yeah, true. But we also had fast passes, but no one would use them. Um, Gross. <laughs> but uh, Jungle Cruise was one of my favorite rides I rode, so we'll see what happens with that. <laughs> you think they'll ever make a movie about the scary doll ride? What scary doll ride? There was a there's a there's a ride what where, where there's just a bunch of like dolls that are singing. Maybe they got rid of this, oh, but this was like back in It's a small it's world. It's a small world. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That was <laughs> That's all I remember about it. Just a bunch of like dolls. Scary doll ride. It's just, you know, scary doll ride. I immediately thought Hall of Presidents when you it's said It's gotten a lot scarier. So, so speaking of which, oh, someone man. hacked into the uh, Hall of Presidents. and they changed into yeah, the Hall of Presidents? And they changed what Trump says in it. How do you hack into a ride? It's connected though. to a network. Yeah. Have you seen The Matrix? That's the problem <laughs> with like the that. internet of things. <laughs> The Internet of Things. Everything's connected to the Internet, which means that people can connect to those things and change the things that they do. <clears throat> so I've got two more movies that I want to talk about. One is a completely original movie, and the other one is a sequel that already to a franchise that already well, got a sequel. Us. Okay, Tenet. you set the ball. Tenet. I really want to see Tenet, which is a Chris Nolan movie. Ooh. Um, it st- and it's. He it's finally, it finally stars a black rent. man because one of his biggest uh, issues that people have with him is that he always stars like some just like the most basic ass pudgy white boy. Like Leonardo DiCaprio. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I honestly, it does look kind of like it's another one of those um another movie like that one. I just forgot the name of that fucking movie. The one with movie. the dreams. Inception. Inception. In- Inception. <laughs> Inception. <laughs> um, but yeah, it seems like that. It seems... Uh, <laughs> That they're playing with uh, cause and effect in it. So a lot of things are uh, ha- happening before the causes happen. It doesn't... Uh, go check out the trailer. It's hard to explain. <laughs> um, but yeah, like... And even the logo uh, is um, kind of like dealing with like cause and effect with it. It's a really strange thing. I, I can just, see it right here. It's I, it's it's very. I look that up because I have no idea what you're Tune talking about. Tune in next week for Brian, <laughs> Brian explains <laughs> movies very poorly. Okay, the other one that I want to talk about though. Oh is, man, should we do one where I just ask Brian to explain Inception? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Oh, that'd be pretty good. <laughs> and the other one is Ghostbusters three. Oh yeah. Or Ghostbusters yeah. Afterlife. That one actually looks pretty good. Have you heard about too. this? No. So it's an actual, you know, they did Ghostbusters uh remake where they rebooted right. it and a lot of people didn't like it. I loved it. I thought it was great. Um but they're making a true sequel to Ghostbusters 1 and 2. Jesus. Ghostbusters 3. What the fuck? That's in universe with I the hate other all of now this. Now we're the ghosts. So it's I hate, no, uh, <laughs> no, I was, I, was on, I was in the exact same boat you are. I was in the exact same boat you are. It follows the kids, uh, the grandkids of Egon, and it's in Kansas. The the movie's in Kansas now, and it's out in the fucking like fields and okay. shit. It looks interesting. Okay. Like, let me show you just like no. the poster, just the poster. Okay. Mm-hmm. Oh no. I mean, like the only thing I, I don't know. So no, far I'm is just it has a I'm, butthole that you fight in the sky. I'm just now like a lot just of movies. weirdly <laughs> angry at at like th- how the Ghostbusters IP has been handled. I agree because that's that's such a half-assed like pullback. I agree. The only reason why I'm I, I'm cautiously op- mis- optimistic is because uh, Ivan Reitman is writing and directing this okay. f- uh, film. Which was the son of the director of the first two films. The son of the director. <laughs> okay. I know, I know. Like, 
Like, that doesn't mean that it's going to be good it or It doesn't at better. all. Here's the one thing I have against No, and it. people are just, like, the fact that the owners of that IP just caved to the world and were like, oh, sorry that you didn't like women. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. here's no, one without bullshit. women. <laughs> I here's one without women. There will still be a woman, um, and she'll probably be woke enough to be non-threatening to the people who don't like that but enough to placate people who are woke. A, you called it. <laughs> B, they're all kids, too. And so it has the Stranger Things feel to it. God. So much so that they actually have one of the kids from Stranger yeah. Things. Of course, <laughs> of course they fucking do. Well, that was my issue with looking at the movies for 2020. It's like they're all remakes or like weird sequels to movies that already exist, and no one's really taking any chances, except yeah. for Artemis Fowl! <laughs> and also fucking... Uh, Blood, blood, what's it? Yeah, blood, Vin Diesel. Blood, Vin Diesel. Blood, Vin Diesel. And that's like legitimately this is my blood sword. <laughs> legitimately, I'm excited that one that Vin Diesel's still out there getting weird and not just like resting on his Fast and Furious laurels. Yeah, but also that he was a witch killer in another movie. Yeah, he does some weird I shit. Do see he that does movie. like mm-hmm. he does things that are out there. Um, and aren't necessarily just the the same thing that everybody expects. Yeah. Um, and I kind of think he uses that Fast and the Furious money to fund yeah, the weirder shit. And yeah. I support that. Yeah. And with that... Wait. You go ahead. I have one more. Okay. And it's re- really ridiculous. It's a new thing. Sonic. No. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Sonic the Hedgehog 3. Um, Sonic you- is kind of a gamble, though. <laughs> Yeah, I'm excited for it. I think it'll be good. Now with less teeth, or more teeth, I can't remember. Different teeth. Uh, <laughs> Daniel Radcliffe in Guns yes, Akimbo. Yes, yes. Guns Akimbo looks amazing. I saw that. Okay. He is in a game show where they literally bolt guns to his hands. <laughs> is it like Running Man? Yes, okay. it's the Running Man, except he has guns bolted to his hands and he has to win the fight. It's Harry Gun and Hands. And it's Harry Potter of Gun <laughs> Hands. Gun hands. <laughs> and so he, gun he, he hands, basically was just like, I didn't ask for this. <laughs> You're a gun hand. <laughs> I love every movie choice he's been making. <laughs> <laughs> All of his like movie choices are batshit crazy. I haven't seen Swiss Army. Oh, oh Swiss Army it's Man. It's really yeah. good. Yeah. yeah. It's really good. And it Horns, looks pretty cool. Horns was good, too. I never saw that one. He is good in it. It is a really great movie. Is it? Uh, the origin story of the wrestler Hornswoggle. Let's go with that. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, guys, uh, thank you again for uh, tuning in for another episode of Heat Wave. We'll be back next week with episode six and more debauchery. Bra-da-da. This wasn't debauchery. This was just a conversation. We di- we're not fucking. Yeah. We're not about to fuck. <laughs> yes, we are. We're about to go eat Ooh. crab legs, which is equivalent to fucking. Okay. Gonna get pregnant. <laughs> crab pregnant. <laughs> Gotta become the crab and get pregnant. All right. Bye, everybody. Bye. Goodbye.